Hey guys, back from my YouTube video on Spoken Draws. But in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to draw a Porg from Star Wars. Now, if you do not know what a Porg is, pretty much it's this bird type thing. Um, it's a pretty cool thing itself. But it's pretty much a bird-like thing. I'll keep it down here. Surprise, it has the big black beady eyes, the two nostrils, the front. It's got brown back, white stomach. Um, in the show, it actually, or in the movie, it has gray wings, but this one just has brown. And orange feet with little claws. So now today I'll be showing you how to draw this one. Now, there is a so in all my videos I do by myself. I don't, I don't copy anything. And I have to give a little credit to some other people that help me out. Like Art for Kids Hub on YouTube and Sheen Clark and some other people just because I didn't really know um they reached out to me and they're like hey you know the porg has like it has gray on it right I'm like oh I did not know that so thanks to them um but yeah we're just gonna get started so what you'll need for this video is a pencil and now this one might be harder to use your Copic markers for but we are going to need a thick and thin sharpie and then obviously we'll need colors for the gray we can just use our pencil but for the rest of it, it's going to be a little more difficult to see yes see yes see so we're going to use a brown colored pencil light brown now it is just a crayola it's nothing too fancy and that might be all we need to do oh yeah and then we will use a number 22 French vanilla Copic marker from the work horse series. So I'm going to show you how to draw this character. You will start off with a simple oval. Sorry, let me clear that up. So you want to start with just an oval. That is not a very good oval. I'm going to make that oval a little wider. We will erase our pencil lines, so if you mess up, you can just go over top. And you don't need to see that oval line just yet. You only need to see it once. That's just me getting my foundation. Now we will trace over top of that with a sharpie. Not yet, though. Yeah, we're not that far yet. So now, on the sides of the oval, which you'll see pretty soon if you can't see it yet, there's an oval there, but then we want to add just a little bit of a whoop over. And then just bring it down and then just back up. These will be his little porg fins. Just like that. And now we can color this in. <laughs> I had to do that first. And we will bring this down and up and down again. So here's a little porg. And now from here, we're going to draw his feet. So now I will outline the feet in pencil, but then we will overdo it in Sharpie again. So you're pretty much just going to bring the just two little lines down and then the top one you're going to overarch just a little bit. Add two toes, kind of like how we did the chameleon toes in a past video. Bring it in, bring it out, just like this. So now I know you can't see that just yet, but I will go over that in Sharpie right here. So down, over, boop, boop, boop. Just like that. And we will do pretty much the same exact thing on the opposite side. If it's not perfect, that's fine. It's your pour. You can do whatever you want with them. And then we will do this little boop. And now we will go over that and sharpie again. 
So now you can work ahead of me right there. That is just exactly what we did before. And now we got two little pork feet. And from there, we will want to add... Well, first off, let's erase our pencil marks. Even though they don't come up on camera, they are everywhere on my drawing. So now, if you use, if you went straight to Sharpie, that's fine. If you use pencil, feel free to take this time while I'm talking to erase your pencil marks. Okay, and from there, we're going to draw with this just two circular shapes. These will be the Porg's eyes. Right now it looks kind of horrific, but I promise it'll look cute in a second. Okay, and now just draw another circle inside those circles. Now, draw that circle whatever way you want him to be looking. If you want him looking the opposite way of how I'm making mine look, um, that's okay. Because if you use this in your artwork, that's completely fine. So there we have one poor guy. And here we have two poor guys. Now the thing is you always want to make the circle too big than not big enough. That's always one thing you want to do in drawing. So I think I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit. And then from there you're going to just want to do two dots like that. You can't don't they don't appear too good, but these are his nostrils. Those are his nostrils. And then you're gonna want to do almost a frown. Because their jaws open a different direction. So you're gonna want to do like a frown. Just like that. So now that you have your frown, you can feel free to bring your pencil back. And we're going to do a little bit of shading now. So we're going to shade in this port's arms. Just like so. Just like that. And then bring it out and down. Now we will also do that to his other porg wing. Out and down. And we will actually wrap this around. So any remaining pencil marks, it's okay to have them because it gets covered up with that. And now that we have that, you can extend it out a little bit more. However thick you want your porgs fur to be and how different colors you want it to be. If you want to make it look like the pop figures, if you want to make it look like the one in the movie, it's all up to you. Now from here we will want to do like the same thing kind of on his forehead. So now we're gonna bring it down like to not his eyes, but it's gonna be like a half circle just like this. Shade that in. I know you're probably saying like unspoken this doesn't look anything like a porg and that's where yeah I'd say you're right. Because now we have to color in the sides of his face. So now, just starting here on the sides from where his arm starts to where his half oval starts. Kind of leave a white border around the eyes. But don't get rid of them. Um, and then make sure you do a little dip in between the eyes. just like so. I'm using colored pencil just because it gives off more of that fur vibe than anything else. Bit of fur. And now that kind of is hard to see on camera, but now you have your pork fur. You'll pull out your Copic marker, like so, and just color in his feet. As we color in his feet, I'd like to thank you for watching. And now we have a bit of a porg. So now I can pull this up to the camera because 
if you didn't know this with recording, light always the colors will always shine through the light. So if I do this, for instance, you will see all the color to his mane and such. Kind of like that. So now, if you want, you can follow this part. If you don't, you don't have to. So now, just get your pencil, okay, and just make little lines going down. You're not going to be able to see this really. And under his mouth, and then back up to the other part where the brown starts, okay? Just like so. And now you can't see that on camp, but I don't think I'll even you'll be even to see it up here. But just do small lines right under his mouth to there, and just carry those lines down. So now, if that's where, if this is as much as you wanted, you do not have to keep doing. You can leave. I'm just going to show some tips and tricks on little lines and such. How to make your fur look like fur. With the color shading, it should already look like fur, but this will just help the process. Um, if you want to do longer lines, shorter lines, it depends what kind of poor hair you want him to have. I'm personally doing both. I'm doing short lines and then I'm doing long lines over top. Don't make the lines too bright because then they won't look perfect. They won't look very good. And then since mine are a little dark, I'm just going to go over top with my pencil just to give the illusion. It, it'll kind of look messy, but it's actually, that's what we're going for because his fur then will have a little detail in design. And then just like that, your pork is finished. Um, a lot of inspiration is took from this porg by the channel. I believe it is Kids for Art for Kids Hub, where they draw a porg, and theirs looks like this. So now, as you see, it looks a lot. It's not going to focus completely since we're on camera, but it looks a lot like ours. So please go check those out. I just thought maybe mine will show you how to do it a little more and also give you a little details. Once again, none of my other videos I copy. I just do my own work and do step by step, but this one is just inspired by them. I added my own details. I'll add my little signature like I always do. If you are interested in watching some more of my videos here's just some that I've done I drew my character avatar for a video the peep candy every pac-man character bomb arm from Mario donut chameleon creeper change on Moonfish from My Hero Academia, and if you're a Star Wars fan, I also drew R2D2. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in what Cobra markers, I use their workhorse series. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I thank you for watching once again, and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.